update. The city and county of El Paso say they will stop using the Johnson & Johnson vaccine as federal agencies investigate a possible link to blood clots. That comes after six people in the U.S. experienced a rare and severe side effect after receiving that shot. It led the FDA and CDC to ask providers to pause administration of Johnson & Johnson vaccines. Texas has asked providers to stop too. ABC 7's Madeline Audley breaks down all the details you need to know. Madeline. Stephanie, this pause certainly comes at a critical time in U.S. vaccine rollout, but it might not have the biggest impact this week. That's because the company's already been dealing with delivery setbacks. In fact, El Paso Community College here is one of only five local providers to receive any doses from J&J this week. The school confirming with me this afternoon they will not be administering those doses in line with this new guidance. The incidence is one in a million. Actually, a little bit more than a million. Six cases out of 6.8 million. That's how many people experienced a rare and severe blood clot after receiving the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Chief of Emergency Medical Services at University Medical Center says it's so rare he does not expect to see it in El Paso. Even if every person in El Paso received the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, which is some 640,000 individuals over the age of 16, we probably still wouldn't see one case of this. The Texas Department of State Health Services confirmed none of the clots have happened in Texas. The department says 16,000 El Paso County residents have received the J&J vaccine. It's so disheartening, my goodness. It was it was the, uh, the vaccine of choice uh, for anyone that would be hard to reach. El Paso County Judge Ricardo Samaniego has helped lead efforts to use the single dose shot to target rural areas. J&J was an answer to a lot of our ability to, to expedite. Samaniego says the county will move forward in those efforts with other vaccine companies. Once the drug is cleared for use, Samaniego says he'll ask communities if they want it. I want to make sure that we, we don't force anything. Texas already received hundreds of thousands of fewer doses from J&J this week due to production issues. Samaniego says the county does not have any right now. In fact, state data shows only five vaccine sites in our county received any doses from the company. Despite the pause, Dr. Michelson says he expects a role for the drug going forward and perhaps new guidelines on which patients should get it. Part of the success of the vaccine is not only getting it into our arms so quickly, but it's also the ongoing surveillance. He hopes the news won't scare people away from getting a shot. If a million people get COVID-19, we would expect something like 15,000 deaths. So if a vaccine causes one serious complication in a million compared to 15,000 deaths from the alternative, which is possibly getting infected, uh, you can't compare those numbers. Now, health experts continue to maintain that the risk of developing any severe side effect remains very low, but they do encourage you to lung any symptoms you might have after receiving a dose. That's regardless of which vaccine you actually get. Now, the city of El Paso is recommending you find this tool. It's from the CDC, and it's called VSAFE, and it allows you to log health check-ins online. We posted a link to this on our website, kvia.com. Just look for this story. Reporting live on the Far East Side, Madeline Ottilie, ABC7. Okay, Madeline, thank you.